With air travel on the rise, more and more aircraft are crossing borders, which means there's a greater threat of disease-carrying insects and agricultural pests being introduced into countries where they weren't previously found. If proper precautions are not taken, both humans and the environment could be at risk. To protect public health and prevent the spread of mosquito-transmitted diseases such as malaria, the Zika virus, dengue and yellow fever, it's vital to control any vectors living in aircraft cabin and cargo areas. Keeping these diseases at bay, as well as avoiding agricultural damage through harmful bugs, involves what the aviation world calls aircraft disinsection. An essential procedure in preparing aircraft before takeoff, it's the use of insecticide for insect and disease control. Some countries enforce their own set of disinsection requirements for inbound flights, especially if they're arriving from places where vector-borne diseases are endemic. To help cabin crew keep these regulations in check, Callington has developed an easy-to-use mobile app for both iOS and Android devices. The app provides information on spray methods and outlines the amount of aerosol required for each aircraft model. The first step in this two-part method, pre-flight disinsection, involves the spraying of empty aircraft cabins before passengers board. For this treatment, Callington recommends the 100 gram multi-shot pre-spray aerosol can, which contains a 2% permethrin active. Pre-flight treatment must take place after catering has been loaded onto the aircraft and before passengers board. For ventilation purposes, you may leave one main entry door per level open while the cabins are being treated. Air conditioning must be kept off during disinsection and afterwards for 5 minutes. Before you commence the treatment process, ensure all overhead and side wall lockers are open. When that's done, hold one can of Callington pre-spray and start spraying from the back of the aircraft Keeping the can at arm's length, direct the can to the open overhead lockers and ceiling, keeping a steady walking pace, no more than one step or one row per second. Once that side's complete, switch over to the other side of the aisle, spraying all the way until you reach the rear of the aircraft. If your aircraft requires three cans to be used down the aisle of the main cabin area, Follow the same application method by first holding one can in each hand. Then, when these cans run out, collect another full can and continue spraying from the point you stopped, moving in the same direction. Should four cans be specified for use down the aisles of the main cabin, it's best that two crew members carry out the treatment. Spray all galleys, including those in the lower levels and lift access areas. Spray lavatories for two seconds. All coat lockers will need to be sprayed for two seconds as well. Spray all crew rest areas using an up and down motion for three seconds. The flight deck will also need to be sprayed for three seconds, but be sure to direct the spray away from any aircraft equipment and your fellow crew. For compliance purposes, record the product serial numbers located on the underside of the cans. The second step in this two-part method, top of descent spraying is carried out with passengers on board, just as the aircraft shifts from cruise phase to descent. For this treatment, Cullington recommends the 100 gram multi-shot top of descent aerosol can which contains a 2% phenothrin active. For this method of treatment, all overhead and sidewall lockers must be closed. Holding one can of Callington Top of Descent, spray from the back of the aircraft, keeping a steady walking pace. Cans should be kept at an arm's length and directed away from passengers and towards the ceiling and closed overhead lockers. Once that side's complete, switch over to the other side of the aisle, spraying all the way until you reach the rear of the aircraft.
If three cans are required for treatment, follow the same method by first holding one can in each hand. Collect another full can when these run out and continue spraying from the point you stopped. If four cans are required, two crew members should carry out this treatment. Product serial numbers located on the underside of the cans will need to be recorded for compliance purposes. As well as cavern areas, cargo holds must undergo disinsection. Cullington One Shot is an aerosol insecticide formulated specifically for this section of the aircraft. Treatment here must be carried out after all cargo has been loaded and just before the whole door is closed. Since aerosols may set off smoke alarms, be sure to advise the crew that hold spraying is about to commence. As the lower cargo door is being closed, leave just enough of an opening to stand a single one-shot can between cargo containers. Hold the nozzle down to activate the aerosol. If more than one can is required, repeat this application method with additional product. When you see that the spray has been activated, close the whole door immediately, leaving the cans in place to complete the disinsection process. Once the aircraft has reached its destination, the exhausted cans are to be collected by ground handlers. Cullington pre-spray, top of descent and one shot are non-flammable and contain a non-CFC propellant Approved for use in aeroplanes, each spray meets the World Health Organization's recommendations for aircraft insecticides. Cullington provides worldwide technical support for aircraft disinsection and is equipped to supply disinsection products to airlines across the globe. For more information or to contact Cullington, visit www.cullington.com.